in Microsoft Teams, you can hold a chat with yourself. It is an ongoing conversation where you can journal, add tasks, attach documents to work on, and create Microsoft loops for personal productivity. Here's how it works. The Teams chat with self feature will show a chat with your name and you in brackets. It may be pinned to the top of your list of chats and meetings. Add a loop component in the same way that you would in a conversation with another individual or group. Choose a component to start with. Give it a title. Click send to save the loop. Now you can take notes and add components as you need. Another way to use Teams chat with self and loop components is by drafting a loop. Create a new loop for taking notes, listing tasks, and related resources for a meeting. Remember to title the loop and send it. Add the loop components you plan to use for collaborating in the meeting. When you are ready to share the loop, copy the link and add it to a one-to-one -one chat, group chat, or meeting chat, or add it to an email in Outlook to share the loop. Recipients will open the loop and read or contribute. By starting a loop in a chat with yourself, you can get the loop ready before sharing it. How will you use loops in a chat with yourself? For personal productivity or to plan for productive collaboration?